We recently made a trip to the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. If you're not familiar with the Myrtles, it may not be the grandest plantation to look at, but what it lacks in presentation, it more than makes up for in a rich and notorious history. There's so much to know about it that there's no way that I can remember everything, but there's tons of information available online and it'll tell you about not only the history, but the hauntings, because this is supposedly one of the most haunted places in the country. And part of the reason it's supposed to be so haunted is because I know one of the owners died in the house. He died on the staircase there were slaves that were killed here. And during the Civil War, the house served as a hospital. And there were just a lot of soldiers that lost their lives in that house. The video is going to be a little more choppy with short shots rather than long continuous shots because there were a lot of people around and that's also the reason why I had to pull the audio but I wanted to do longer segments but they do tours here I don't know if they do them during the week I know on the weekends they do them at 6 p.m. 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. so while you're not going to see it there were a lot of people around and the tours are done in the home now you can go to the house and just walk around outside they have no problem with that but with the tours you have people waiting to go on the next tour you have people in the tour and when those tours are over they come out and let another group in so they're walking around the property and you have other people who just come walk around just to look so I did a pretty good job of keeping those most of the people out of the shots. But like I said, because there were so many people here, uh, particularly by the house, it was noisy. And um, I had to just do shorter shots. But you'll still get a pretty good idea of how everything looks. Now, inside the home, you're not allowed to take video. And I didn't really complain too much about this because... So this is the third time we've been here and the first two times we came they wouldn't allow us to take video or photos so this time they said photos were fine as long as you didn't use a flash now we could have snuck around and taken some video but we decided we'd respect their wishes and just take photos without the flash so the photos that you'll see of inside the home they're kind of dark but at least we were able to take some, some photos, so I'm not really complaining about that. If you're not familiar with St. Francisville, the area is not really city, but it's not exactly rural either. So there's a lot of wildlife in the area. So it's not just here on the plantation. It's surrounded by a lot of woods. There's actually hunting leases right up the road. So there's a lot of wildlife here. We actually saw a deer... Uh, when it had gotten dark, I wasn't able to get it on video, but there's just, there's a lot of wildlife around. These cabins are not original to the property. They're actually built as guest cabins. The other cabin, the first one that I showed on here was the caretaker's house. And I believe it's a rental too. It may be original, or I know it's at least been there for a long time, but, but the one that I just showed and the other few like it are all fairly recent additions. And you can rent the cabins or you can rent a room inside the main house. I believe there's four rooms inside the main house that you can rent. And then there's these cabins and there may have been something else I don't remember. This may be it right here.
Now, supposedly, there's the ghost of a soldier that sometimes can be seen on this bridge. They said that some people, when they get on the bridge, they can't cross all the way to the other side. When they get in the middle, they feel like a physical barrier stopping them from crossing. I didn't sense anything while I was there. But they said that that image of a soldier can be seen either day or night sometimes here. By the way, if anybody sees anything on video that we missed, because we went back through it and looked at all the footage and the photographs, and I'm not going to tell you whether we found anything just yet, but we didn't see a whole lot of stuff. I'll just say that. So if you see something that that you think is you know, a ghost or something out of the ordinary, definitely put it in the comments and let us know. Again, I'm not sure if this well is original to the property. I believe it is because it's, it's not just a show well that they just put some bricks and sat it on the ground. It actually goes really deep. It's actually deeper than what it looks like on video. When we were standing there looking down at it with the light, it, it's very, very far down. So that leads me to believe it's probably original. Here's the guest shop. This guest shop is pretty new. It must just... I think in the last two years it's been rebuilt and the reason they rebuilt it was because of fire the old one burnt down and the old one was actually situated in i believe a building that was original to the property which was the kitchen the outside kitchen but it's interesting to note that not only did the guest shop burn down the restaurant on the property burnt down within the last year also. And you'll see the construction out there where they're rebuilding the, the new restaurant. But I'm not sure that they've pinpointed any source of these fires. But it's definitely odd that the two main outbuildings from the main house have both burnt within the last couple years. This is actually an electronic uh, photo frame and it has pictures of ghosts that were, were found on the property over the years. I've got video of all the pictures that was going through it. The only thing is it's like seven minutes long. So I didn't want to include it in this video because this video is already hitting up on the 20 minute or so mark. So I didn't really have time to put it in here. I may show it in a separate video if people want, just so they can see more ghosts, you know, than what was available online. Because when I searched online for ghost photos from here, there weren't a whole lot of them. And they have many, many more photos in there for you to see that involve ghosts and things like that than what's generally available. So let me know if you want me to post a video of all those photos with the ghosts. By the way, this breezeway right here, the main ghost that haunts the house, her name is Chloe. She was a slave. She's been seen in that breezeway. Here's the new restaurant they're building. The only good side is that the old restaurant was really small and this new one is going to be much, much larger.
this is access to one of the guest rooms, which you don't go on on the tour. So the only way to see it is to look through this door. And here's where the tour began. That's the front door to the property. That's the staircase where one of the owners was actually died after he was shot. They say on this bed, a lot of times during the tours, you can see handprints actually pushing down on the bed. We didn't see it, but our tour guide had said just um, a couple of days ago they had seen that on one of the tours. When we got done with the tour, it was starting to get dark and we set it up that way. We chose a 7 p.m. tour. That way we could get some shots during the daylight, do the tour, and then get, also get some shots at night. Our tour guide suggested we check the windows really, really well when we were filming and getting photos because that's where they often see some of the spirits or ghosts. She actually said that just a week ago, her and one of her co-workers were coming back from lunch. But it was a late lunch because they do the night tours. And when they got, they got in, they saw one of the old butlers looking out the window. So we we tried really hard to get to get the windows especially in the, at the the nighttime footage to see if we could find anything. And I want to definitely come back to the bridge being that this is one of the the areas that they pinpointed that um that is haunted and ghosts have been seen. Besides the fact that I pulled the audio because of all the people being here, uh, another reason was because being that this is kind of out, you know, kind of rural, there's a lot of spider webs here. And I'll just be upfront with you. I can't stand spiders. You should. It, we were at the guest shop after the tour was done. And I mean, literally, once it got dark, or started getting dark, those spiders came out from everywhere. I was so creeped out, we had to get from underneath the covering in front of the gift shop because it was totally creeping me out. And right through this area right here, I ran into several spider webs, and I was hollering like a girl. So I, I cut that out. But there are a lot of spiders here, a lot of spider webs. And if you're walking through here at night without a light, it's, it's pretty bad. I, w I was creeped out for hours after seeing all those spiders by the gift shop and running into these webs.
you can see the cat over there just hanging out again. Again, if you see something that we may have missed, definitely let us know because I would love to find some type of just anything that that looks like it could be a ghost, a spirit, or anything like that. One of the slaves was said to be hung in one of these trees right here in the front. No one's ever said exactly which tree it was. I'm not sure if they actually know, but it was it was one right here in front of the home. I actually have a relative or two of them who claim they saw some ghost children running in this field right here. While I didn't seem to capture anything on any of the video or photographs that I took, this is a photo that my wife took. If you look closely, you'll see what appears to be a face. And the crazy thing is that face appears to resemble this portrait that's in the main house. So I can't say with any certainty that that's a ghost or a spirit. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But it's certainly an interesting thing that we captured on video. So if you like my channel, please like, please subscribe. And I'll make more videos like this. I really appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next time.